Hey Greyhounds, this is Murder Nurse, um, and today I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to play Skyrim Romance Mod 3.0. Um, I was going to play Dread Out, Karkamus Prime was so kind enough to give that to me, but um, I slept in. I'm also having like um, a bit of a dental issue, which I'm getting fixed tomorrow, so I just kind of wanted to do something that would like... Um, be fun for me and you know that I didn't really need my camera up for and everything uh so yeah we're gonna do this <laughs> I like all of these it's gonna be impossible to choose I can't believe how many hairs I have so 484 remember that because I just want to really quick just do a quick slide through oh my god these are so pretty oh my god oh my god um, wow, just wow, just, these are gorgeous, I can't, how do you know, <laughs> how do you know when a female's playing Skyrim as opposed to a male, <laughs> this is a good indicator, <laughs> wow, 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 there's so many, how could, how could anyone choose, are they nuts, oh my god, oh, look at that one, has roses in it, we don't, I don't even need to play the game. I could just sit going through these hairstyles and be completely happy. <laughs> oh my god, little kitty ears. Oh look, it's Baby Doll from Sucker Punch. But we'll go with this for now. Should we name her, like, Gorette? <laughs> I'm gonna name her Gorette. Because now I'm kind of, like, too in love with the idea to not do it. It's a horrendous name. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm like having too much fun now. Out of my way, kids! Excuse you, I'm trying to. <laughs> what happened? All right, nobody attack me just because of what I am. You racist! Don't attack me! Look, look, I'm not a succubus anymore. What? Oh my god, look at these racist people! Damn! I ain't even a succubus anymore. Stop it! Stop! Stop it! <laughs> oh my god, being run- Ah! <laughs> guys, guys, chill. chill. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> no! It's not what I wanted! I forgot to turn my aggression off! Stop chasing me! I'm just a normal woman! Trying to find romance in Skyrim! How could you be so cruel? <laughs> Are we ready to romance some boys? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius. Don't Ray. talk to me! Hey, she must be a witch then. Look at those eyes! I mean, you're not it completely wrong. Like, me. you're close. Not a witch, but, you know, it, it's okay. I just misspecies me. It's fine. What are you looking at? So you're someone who doesn't lip wrestle. Got it. Or you're just looking for someone to kiss your boots. If it's the latter, I'd suggest asking elsewhere. Or I'm just looking for a drink and you're in my way. Ah. I join you, but there's something I want to know before you get too wasted to tell the difference between me and this wall. So are you so used to those kind of comments that you turn up your nose at all of them like some damn noble? I'm sorry, princess. Did you want someone to pay attention to you too? What? Princess? <laughs> those two only wish they could work up the courage to whistle at me. I'll be fine. They've been harassing every pair of legs that's crossed their path for days. Yesterday they got so drunk they even wolf-whistled the blacksmith. You're the first they've been right to admire, though. Anyway, just give them a wide berth. For days? What do you do here? Just hold up the wall? Maybe I'm here to stop noble ladies for drinks before they go in there and have the dullest night of their lives with these closed-minded villagers. I was tracking my wolf, Karnwir, around here. They we were separated while hunting a week ago. I've been hearing rumors of bandits holding pit fights somewhere this side of Skyrim. 
He's all I've got. And that's the only lead. So I'm off to shut them down before something happens to him. If you're asking for help, it's gonna cost you. Keep your money. Do I look like a mercenary to you? Even if I were for hire, you couldn't afford me. Ah, uh, I guess if they're running a ring, there's probably gonna be more than just a few bandits. If you want to come, I wouldn't complain about my odds. I could certainly do worse for company. Sounds like you're offering me a one-night stand. Sounds like someone's hearing what she wants to hear. But that doesn't mean it can't be open for discussion. I don't trust anyone. Not even the man pouring my drink. The only two things I trust anymore are myself and my wolf. Got it? And what if he likes me more than the Grumpy Ranger? I'm sure he'd remember his place after the stomach ache he got from you trying to feed him a <coughs> sweet roll or something. <coughs> Before you jump to any stupid assumptions or try to get him to lick your hand, Conrad is not a pet. That wolf and I have been together since I was 17. He's closer to me than... than a brother. Got that? If you two need your private time, then just say. Oh... Born to be a jester as well, were you? Apologies if I'm too busy focusing on a matter of life and death rather than being your adoring fan. Let's get a move on. Every minute we waste here, Conrad is being held against his will. And probably worse. So this is Bishop. He has uh, trust issues and wolf issues. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. I wasn't even looking at you! Damn! Alright, Bishop, let's kill these bitches! Doesn't Bishop kind of sound like a maniac? Like, whenever we start killing people, he's just like... <laughs> I love killing people! <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm out of magic! Bishop! Bishop, help! Bishop! Bishop, help me! Oh, yes, these will fetch a fine price on the marketplace. <laughs> Ex ex excuse you? It was me! <laughs> I found your wolf! I'm impressed. I didn't think a woman like you had it in ya. That is sexist. I have many skills, Bishop. Well, in that case, I've decided to join you. Who knows what kind of trouble you and I can find ourselves in along the way. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you in all sorts of trouble. Mm, I'm looking forward to that. Hi, right, guard, help me. Being chased by bears. Wow, impressive. Are you feeling sick? No, I'm a succubus. No, I, oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Conway. Oh my goodness, he levitated. Oh shit, son, you seeing this? This black magic over here. Oh shit. Can I ask you something? What do you want to ask? Nice knife. Is it even sharp? Where'd you get it? This deer here is a token I took from one bandit back in the day. I was seven. I barely learned to use a bow. Some bandits attacked my village and, well, we fought them off. I took this from one of the corpses and killed the last bandit that thought I was just a lad, unable to make a quick decision. Oh, and believe me, darling, this deer cuts deeper than my words. Does it have any enchantments? No, it just cuts, princess. Wanna feel? Wanna feel mine against your throat? <laughs> what do you want to ask? How did you learn to live in the wild? It was necessary to learn how to survive in this damned world. Either survive or die. It's life, sweetness. And I had to learn the hard way. Did you lose your family? Not exactly. I was born to a family of hunters who was often taken out for practice. The Reach taught me to always check my footing twice, and the cold northern regions hardened me enough to withstand the bitterness of the wind. I was hunting giants from the age of ten. You know, for sport. I had fun with my bow. We traveled a lot, too, from place to place. Pretty nomadic. I watched and learned. 
One night, just decided to take everything I had, which wasn't much, and struck out on my own. And you've seen the world, huh? Must have been nice. Nice? <laughs> Listen now, sweetie, there's nothing nice in this world. The only nice things I can think of are a mug of ale in my hand and a warm fire. Hashtag relatable. I see. <laughs> What's with that response, ladyship? Sabercat got your tongue? You want to maybe share about your life story, since you were curious enough to ask about mine? Well, um, I'm a succubus. <laughs> I grew up somewhere else. That's all? Long story short, I'm sure there's more than that. Well, I don't care. I don't know what kind of life I might have had if I'd chosen differently. Be proud of your choices, Bishop. They've made you who you are. I'm not sure proud is the right word. But you've been helpful to me. Now it's time for me to give you a good turn. You better watch your wording there, Ranger. A girl could get the wrong idea. Dream on, sweetheart. Though I must say, I like your enthusiasm. Now, before I get the wrong idea, better get back to what I was doing. What was I doing? <laughs> what do you want to ask? Are you rude like this with everyone? Of course. Why? Why waste time pretending to be someone else? The sooner people face the cold realities and harsh truths of the world, the better. Why pretend we're anything other than what we are? I've seen how you bite your tongue rather than speak the truth at times. Don't you get tired of having to pretend these people actually interest you? That you actually give a shit about them? Doesn't it frustrate you having to constantly submit to their fragile egos? Not if I get what I want in the end. Ah, oh, smart girl. What do you want to ask? Does assisting others bother you? I tend to be asked frequently for help. Please tell me that's just some sort of mental condition. <laughs> Pardon? What? The way you just can't say no to every stray that comes your way with their Oh, please go to the cave full of vampires to find my spoon. Or my great-great Gramps left his favorite rocking horse in the ancient burial crypt. And he's desperate to have it back now at death's door requests. After which you forget everything and everyone and run off to do their bidding. I do as I wish. Don't ever try to tell me what to do. No, darling. That kind of blind trust is called stupidity. And I do hope you'll come to understand that before you wind up giving your life for the dying wish of some old fool. What do you want to ask? <clears throat> you don't seem to trust anyone. Why is that? Don't trust anyone. Life's easier that way. If you don't put your... If you don't trust anyone... Do you at least put your faith in the divines? I wouldn't waste your time on any of these worthless gods. I agree. I can take care of myself and I don't need anyone helping me. Bishop suddenly steps close to you, almost too close. Well past the borders of your personal comfort zone. His eyes are dark and piercing. You don't look like a mighty dragon slayer to me right now. More like a little girl who met a big, bad wolf. Ugh. Guys, I think I'm in love. What do you want to ask? Your wolf, Conwyr, is sweet. He likes you. You know why? Why? You're not afraid of him like the others. Once you understand an animal, you don't need to be afraid of it. See, and that's why you and he understand each other. You understand what he is, what he does. But most importantly, and this is the most important, you understand what he's capable of doing. What do you want to ask? When did you get Carnware? I got my wolf Carnware when I was just a boy. We survived together, we hunted together. Someday we'll die together, and that suits me just fine. What do you want to ask? 
I serve and protect the citizens of Skyrim with different quests. Will you help me? Why are we even helping them? They deserve to die. We are wasting our time here. Damn, Bishop. Wait, what are you talking about? Why are we even helping them? They deserve to die. We are wasting time here. Hey, you just said that. Shut it, Ranger. There's plenty of gold to be had from saving them as well. Playing hero again, I see. What do you want to ask? Have you ever traveled outside Skyrim? You know, I once took a hunting trip to Morrowind. The cliff racers made for excellent sport. You could always tell when one was coming by the racket it made. So, Bishop, how did you become a ranger? By the sudden interest. Why the sudden suspicion? There's no one ever asks me something like that without another motive behind it. Ah, fine. How did I become a ranger? Like why anyone else sells themselves. I was raised with the skills. The difference is that I was taught them to survive, not for profit. Not an honest kind of profit, anyway. I started ranging about seven years or so before we met. Word got around I could track runaways or hunt meals for fat, lazy nobles. Whatever. I didn't plan on it, but they had gold and I had a bow. So I became their ranger. What about the illustrious woman before me? You're so nosy about my life. Uh... You don't want to know about me. Oh, don't I? I'm pretty sure I just asked you, princess, and I'm not going to be saying anything if I don't mean it. You know what? Our pasts are our pasts. We're not going to make the future any better by going on about them. As for the present, isn't there somewhere we had to be going? Some long-lost hat to be retrieving? No? Well, if all else fails, there's always the inn. I may have just seen the most beautiful angelic face in this entire land. Oh, that's the dragonborn. Better show us some respect, Buy mate. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Oh, oh beauty and strength. What an enchanting combination. I wonder, has anyone tried to court her yet? Actually, I was about to ask her to ride with me after sunset. You, Anuman? Why would such an ethereal creature want to sit with you on some horse? Protect yourself, right. At least I Buy have a horse. <laughs> No, my good friend. To chase such a beauty, you need more than some steed to swoop her off her feet. Oh, yeah, what do you need? You really are a jackass, my friend. <laughs> Let's see who the fair dragonborn is. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Once she meets me, there really won't be a choice. Rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrowind. What you doing tonight? I could think of a lot of things we could do together. He's further is more my type. Oh, this is my wolf mount. <laughs> Wee, because of course I would have a wolf mount, right? 